That is cool. What do you think, Mom? Okay. Pretty awesome. I love the sound of that water too. Boy, that thing is enormous. Creepers! We are here in Tualatin, Oregon for the Ice Age Trail. That's right, many, many years ago, a lot of the relics from the past formed here in Tualatin, including some ice fossils and some prehistoric creatures, as you can see here behind me. And me, Mama Creeper, and Penelope are gonna do the little Ice Age Trail right here in Tualatin. Starting off here, right here, in front of this giant Macedon. Thousands of years ago, mammoth ground sloths, bisons, horses, camels, and giant mastodons like this sculpture of Dean a juvenile mastodon roamed the Willamette, Tualatin, and Yamhill River Valleys. Upon extinction, the bodies of many of these prehistoric animals were buried in the area's swamps and riverbeds. Longtime resident John Bobby George first began to wonder about these creatures when he asked the former Tualatin Marshal Charlie Roberts about a mastodon molar that Charlie was using as a doorstop. Years later, Bobby learned that in the late 1800s, farmers had found mastodon bones in the Tualatin swamps. Very cool. And then it's got some information here as well about some former bones that were dug up just across the street here by the Fred Myers with some bones from one of the prehistoric creatures like this mastodon here. So today we're gonna take the little ice, air, ice age trail walk and it should be fun. This is a really pretty area and it's got these little, uh, you know, placards here with all the information as we're gonna do our little walk here. This is gonna be fun. What do you think, mom? Yeah, this would be cool. And then also there's a little, uh, pathways all the way through here so we're just going to do a little exploring yeah this is cool this nine foot long 2500 pound sculpture represents a slightly smaller life-size juvenile one and that's this guy right here so we're gonna we're gonna do a little ice age creeping and I have to say, this is really cool so far. So stay tuned. What do you think, girl? You like this big creature? And this is by Brian Keith. It's the sculptor. Very cool. Absolutely love this. All right, let's do this. You got the beeper? All right, so I think we just kind of follow this trail here. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the little path here. So this takes us over by the park too, if we want. And uh, I believe if we just follow this little, see how they put this little path here and it'll kind of Okay, well, I'm going to start walking fast. Come yeah. On, I get Are these, uh... Come on. Huh. Hey, this is kind of nice, isn't it? So we're behind the shopping complex here. On this little walkway. And I believe... Oh, look it. Here's the footprints of one of how big those mastodons would have been. That's an actual footprint. You see that? That is amazing. Look at that. Compared to my foot, how big that guy's foot is. Dang. That's cool. This is neat. So they basically have it all set up to where... Yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me walking. And then all through here, there's footprints of the creatures that have oh, wood yeah. around. But here's just some human ones. Yeah. 
I'm not sure who this guy would have been. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are mine. Those are mine. The bear footprints are mine. I just walked off into the bushes. No. <laughs> hey, this is neat, isn't it? So they've done a really good job of kind of setting up the different creatures footprints that would have walked through here and on the ground here is all this information too 12,000 years ago end of the ice age and some more footprints oh check this out there's some sculptures of some different bones here maybe like a femur bone and we've got a salmon here on the ground and she's loving it too are you having so much fun oh look at this one it's like the jawbone oh that is cool and the teeth look at that so all these kind of representing the fossils This nice little look out here. This is incredibly cool. Living large megafuna. So maybe that was the footprint of these guys here. Large animals called megafauna dominated the Ice Age world as the Ice Age wanted many of North America's largest animals, such as. Mastodons, mammoths, and giant ground sloths disappeared. While scientists are unsure as to exactly why these creatures died out, most think that a rapidly changing climate and hunting from humans contributed to their extinction. Wow. And then it shows, you know, some more of these fossils. And look at the size of these things compared to, you know, like an average six foot human look at how big those giant ground sloths would have been holy smokes that is cool yeah just a ton of information along through here too i knew this was going to be cool but i didn't expect it to be this informational as well and along here like i said ten thousand years ago extinction of all megafauna so that's what have been those bigger footprints there this is so cool it's like totally stepping back in time this would be something to definitely do on a snowy day too this would be really cool when the ground's all kind of icy and full of snow this would make for a uh, a really cool time because it would really give you the you know the idea and, and, and kind of help your mind go back into that time too, kind of being on the ice and winter weather this is cool though I really like this a lot a ton of information too so nice mama creeper and Penelope kind of went off ahead And I'm loving all these little kind of different areas here with the info. It says, uh, rock stowaways catch a ride. During the largest of the ice age, ice age floods, the entire Willamette Valley became a massive rushing river traveling around 30 miles per hour. The floodwaters carried giant icebergs some of which held erratic rocks. These huge boulders were plucked from mountainsides hundreds of miles away in Montana, Idaho, and Washington. And it kind of shows we are here and how far some of these would have went. These uh, dark circles, circles depicting where they were found Two of the radics to your far left are granodurites, I think I massacred that, which is a mixture of granite and durite and is commonly found near mountain chains. They're found in the Tonkin 
Scablins, four miles south of Tualatin, and then there's a couple other ones too that would have kind of maneuvered their way off the sides of mountains. And that's this one right here. This giant rock here is one of them. It's very interesting. Wow. So cool. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And to be able to see it. Man, that is cool. So yeah, just a bunch of these little informational areas. Here's some more bones here. Kind of scattered all along here too are these rocks that traveled many, many years. And you can tell it's this kind of like granite style, something that you don't normally see. Wow, look at this. Look at the size of that skull. Wow. That is very cool. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. Shaped by ice and floods. We've got these kind of like ice sculptures. Very cool. five glacial erratics placed along this overlook and then it says here David Elligston a Woodburn high school biology teacher and his students found a bison skull during an annual paleontology dig it was used to make the mold for that sculpture that we just saw right over there so this is so cool absolutely more teeth here wow look at that it's like a jawbone yeah this is this is incredible some more fossils down here way here wow this is really pretty through here A little dock over there where someone's got their canoe Great Plank Road. In the mid 19th century, farms of the Tualatin and Willamette Valleys had potential to feed the growing city of Portland and much of the West Coast. If only they knew they could get their produce to the market. Plank roads, which were made of use of cheap and available timber, promised year round wagon passes on a mud free surface. So you can see they're taking their wagons through the road here 1896 by this time crews added a mixture of gravel 
and tar over the planks to give it a smoother ride. There's some of the planks here too, kind of making it easier for folks to connect. Boone's Ferry Road connecting Tualatin to Portland and Salem also was a wooden road. Although it was a corridorway construction instead of split planks, smaller logs were placed perpendicular to the road and then the gaps were filled with mud to make it less bumpy. Wow. We have it good these days. I really like these little wooden planks they've got set up through here too. Kind of reminds me of what they were just talking about with the old roads. Kind of plank style. This is cool out here. Nice little lookout spot here with some more info. Hidden for about 14,000 years, the bones of a mastodon were found in Tualatin not far from here. In fact, right behind the uh, Fred Myers. Huh. And this connects back up to the shopping center. Oh, and I just noticed that when they did the cement work here, they kind of made it look like the old planks. You guys see that? That's actually cement, but they made it look like what they would have traveled on coming through here. Very cool but those are, you know, what the bit, the big bones would have looked like. Get that bone. You want to, hey, you want to get this bone? Look at, get this bone and bury it. Get your bone. Get your bone. <laughs> Imagine Penelope carrying one of those big Mastodon bones home, Fred Flintstone style. Here's some more pictures of those big ice sloths. God, those things are enormous. All right, next stop here, the library. Yep, look at that. So we've got a life-size version of the Macedon. And of course, we're gonna be quiet because we're here at the library. And here is the lower jawbone and look at the sheer size of that. Lived in the Willamette Valley more than 10,000 years ago, restored by Mike Full on loan from the University of Oregon. Look at the size of that thing. I mean, the ones we saw on the trail were really cool, but that's, that's actual size. That is incredible. Absolutely. Look how the shadow kind of protrudes onto the ceiling too of the rib cage. That is amazing. And there's a little placard here too as well. Unearthed here near this library, actually right behind the Fred Myers in the 60s by two Portland State University students, one who grew up here in Tualatin. I actually found some pictures online as well of when they first found it, the skeleton, to be determined to be age of 11,300 years, about 14,000 real years old, scientists estimate this mastodon was female who died in her 20s. Wow. Yeah. Incredible. And all throughout here, they've got a ton of information as well. Here's another one of the bison replicas like we saw. 
on the path. And all along these cases as well. Look at this swamp mammoth tusk, 12,000 years old. That is incredible. Little baby sloth. Here's a rib of a bison found at Woodburn High School in 2012. Wow. Here's some more of the molar replicas like we saw. Yeah. Holy smokes, look at this, you guys. The mammoth footprint. 12,000 years ago, actual footprints were found near the Yamhill River. Not to mention this library is really pretty. They got this fire in here. Very cool. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, just a ton of info. Go ahead and touch it. This rib bone is from a partial found a few miles north of Tualatin. That's so cool. I like these two, how they kind of pull out so you can get more info. And here's another rendition of the map like we saw earlier. Check this out, Mom. Here's the Macedon rib bone. 12,000 years old. Isn't that cool? And got some informational booklets here as well. Yeah, this is very cool. And uh, I highly recommend coming down here, doing the walk, and checking out the library. Very pretty. And a lot of info. And I absolutely love the big Macedon in the back there, so cool. An ice cave located in the Cabela's near the back of the store. All right, we're gonna go in there next. Let's head right in here and check it out. Look, Camo Dave would be in, well he, well, he is in heaven, but he would have loved this space. Yeah, rest in peace. Rest in peace, camo. We're thinking of you. Yeah. Especially with all the camo gear. Ooh, look at that thing. I don't like those. <laughs> I don't like those. I don't think... Wow, look at this. This is amazing, you guys. Very cool. Oh, check it out. Especially... We were just talking about the Ice Age. Look at this. Most of the creatures you would have seen. This is really pretty. Wow, look at this big tank. That is really cool. It's like this big walkthrough. Wow. This is amazing. Big salmon in here. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, this is incredible through here. And you're like basically inside the little cave. Very cool. I'm loving these. Big tanks. Dang, this is this is really cool. The ice cave, that is really cool.
Incredible. It's a good place to end it, kind of where we started. Yeah. Good time. A lot of info. You were able to get your walk in. Penelope yeah. got a walk in. And uh, I walk. love this place. Yeah, it's a good walk. Yes. And uh, like I said, it'd be fun to come out on even a winter day, on an icy day, or yeah. even a hot summer's day and get some info on the ice age. That was fun. Very fun. And that's going to do it. I love you guys for always tuning in and creeping with. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. Until next time, creeper out for now. Peace. Wish I had one of these to ride home. Probably be cheaper than gas.